All right, I'm skipping on the intro today, but you already know what to do. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, BSU, Brady on Odyssey, Reddit, Mines, just in case you don't get shut down. Terminator, Shadowban, Hack, God forbid, DDoS, or Terminated by the Algorithm. Anyhow, um, I know I heard about this four days. By the time you guys see this, it's like five days old, but I've been seeing a lot of freaking, like, not even vibe, but buzz about this shit for a while now. I don't know, is this supposed to be Meta, aka Facebook's newer way of how they're going to defeat Twitter? You can roll Elon Musk. And it's kind of like Elon Musk news in a way, because that dude has not been running Twitter very well. I mean, I'm glad he took a lot of the crazy, super psychopathic, insane in the membrane and the absolute gougingness of their, um, their minds, their insanity of their minds. Um, of the SJWs and the far leftists and all that other shit, and, um, cancel culture vultures. I know there's still a few of them over there, but not as many as used to, but I was playing some Kirby Forgotten Lands music in the background, even though it has nothing to do with it, but <laughs> it is what it is. It feels nice to see. There's two other things I wanted to talk about, too, but it's probably going to have to be in a separate video, because one of them is good news. Um, people that run Sega, I guess one of the CEOs and the developers are saying that they want nothing to do with microtransactions and NFTs at all. It makes games boring and extremely disingenuous and very, very, in their words, very a boring, not a fantasy, mythical experience. Which is not good. I mean, this is a real good thing that Sega's not going to do that one of the games. Hopefully that means stuff like Nier Automata, Bayonetta, all their Sonic games. Hopefully there's never no microtransaction paid DLC shit in their games. Because if there is, that sucks. Honestly. But it is what it is, so... Anyways, I'm going to read half this article and I'm going to read the entire thing. And then there was another one I wanted to talk about real fast. It's going to be its own separate video Monday. Um, by the way, um, there's another new episode of Hello Boss. I'll probably do that one Monday because I only heard about it on, um, what's it called? I only heard about it literally yesterday. By the time you guys see it, on Friday I heard about it. But actually, no, Saturday. By the time you guys see it, it'll be the day after Sunday. Um, new Hello Boss thing. So that's pretty badass. So I can't wait to do a reaction on that one. And the third one, this one I might talk about at the end of the video because ugh, this one viral very, very quickly. And I'm going to have to be very super careful and cautious when I make that video because I'll start do my whole truth and review. You guys know I like doing a lot of tinfoil hat conspiracy theory shit. And you know I'm very, very deep when it comes to truth and alternative media stuff. You know, I used to literally follow and wish people like AJ Jones or Mark Dice until I found out there were CIA, NSA freaking like gatekeepers, and they were just agents of the NWO, the World Economic Forum, fools like Freemasons, Illuminati, so I was like, I stopped giving a fuck about what they said after that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'll say that maybe for the end of the video, maybe I'll do it in a separate video, I'm probably going to do it in a separate video, more than likely, so I'm going to have to walk on eggshells and broken glass for that one, which sucks. And it's been a while since I talked about anything almost truth to remember since like February, March, when that whole Chinese spy balloon thing happened. Anyways. What is Threads? That is a new platform. Hoping, hoping to rival Twitch. This comes from Hannon Millington from Cosmopolitan. I thought it was Cosmic um, Complex News. Never mind. That there's another social media app in town, and they are linked to Instagram. So I guess Mr. Zuckerberg is hoping this kicks Twitter's ass, but we'll see. Oh, and I know I heard like three or four weeks ago, almost a month ago, when I hold that, heard about the whole cage fighting thing that Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg were supposed to do, which... I didn't even know this until like three weeks ago that Zuckerberg, the dude, he knows how to fight pretty well. He knows how to do martial arts and jujitsu and all that other shit. So he's pro at it. I'm surprised he didn't do that for his career instead of being a CEO, billionaire, trillionaire on Facebook, which I guess in the long run of things, I kind of see why he did it because I guess he didn't want to end up having dementia or Alzheimer's at a younger age because I think after so many years of getting kicked in the head and kicked all over your body, is this. I guess as a fighter, even though I can't say that, because I never did that as a full-time experience, uh, full-time career, but I guess mentally and inte intellectualized, it screws up your brain badly. And um, you get a lot of physical pain later on, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I guess the reason that's probably was impossible to do that, I don't know. It says, quote, just when you think there were enough social media platform apps, <clears throat> yeah, doing the rounds, the rules are about to change. We have another one. The platform rivals Twitter is just launched. It's called Threads. And it sounds like it could make a serious impact, given that within the first seven hours of life, it had 
10 million sign-ups. It's Twitter, Meta, CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, a okay, Kuckerberg, is something I like to call him. Because <laughs> he can't cuck the Zuck, and that's what I'm hearing. Oh, yeah, let's call him a clone or an android or a reptile, people. <laughs> Anyways, via his latest articles, of course. When asked by a user whether it will become bigger than Twitter, Zuckerberg responded, it'll taste some time, but I think there should be a public conversation where 1 billion plus people on it. Twitter has had the opportunity to do this, but hasn't nailed it yet. Hopefully it will. So the head honcho, Android dude says himself, I don't know. <laughs> The move by Meta, Facebook's parent company, seems to be pretty conveniently timed. As users are on the Elon Musk on that, now face restrictions, including to be logged into viewer sites, are limited to the amount. Yeah. I heard about all this stuff. Oh, it was bad. So now you got to be like a membership, have $710 membership to freaking go past 600 tweets. I'm not really upset about that because I only use Twitter like three or four times out of the week. I don't go over past 600 tweets. I just make like. 20, 30, 50 tweets. As far as retweets and likes, I'll probably go like 50, 60,000 on that once every month at least. But not like 6,000. That's insane. So this is um, joining the competing platform, Blue Sky Mas Madison. Matstodon or Matsism? What exactly is a new? What is threads? Okay, I'm going to skip that one. How to use threads. For those sick of having, making endless logins for the latest app of the three... You have, if you have an Instagram account, you can simply log in with the same details and will be, <coughs> excuse me, will be issued the same username. Pretty clever, but simple way to utilize the $2 billion, no, $2 billion active users already in the app. You can also easily find the following same accounts you do on Instagram, unless you're looking for a fresh slate, that is, and start connecting a conversation, or should we say threads. It appears you can choose to show what you post up to 500 characters. Ugh. They're going to do that with shit with threats too. That sucks. And to anyone who profiles or follows you is mentioned. When was Threads launched? Threads was first launched on the Apple App Store on Tuesday, July 4th. Oh, 4th of July too. It's convenient. You know, for anyone who listens to us, that's 4th of July, Independence Day. But nowadays it's kind of just a holiday just to throw fireworks and hamburgers and hot dogs and shit if you're American. You know what that is. Which I'm cool with that, but you can do that literally on time. In my personal opinion, that holiday nowadays is just a joke. <laughs> and reality, mentally, and you know, work-wise, we're all pretty much slaves of the system, in my opinion. I know some people are going to attack me on that, but whatever. Unless you're, you know, wide awake, I'll turn me to truth or shit. You already know that shit's a fucking slap in the face to us, but let's move on. It was officially launched on Thursday, plus um, it wasn't even the British UK news that was ruling everything. It was... The small hat people, the people in the Middle East, which I can't say their names. You know who I'm talking about. I say their name, and they're like, oh, you're anti this, and you're oasis to that. You know, not. So it says, for those who don't uh, didn't already save the app pre order, meaning it will have now notified you are available, now it automatically, it's ready for use. The app is currently free, although there are many, may end up being more premium services or purchases within that will cost you. What is your action so far? I don't care. Threads versus Twitter. Commenting on Dorsey's post, ex-UK governor digital comms, Miss Commonwealth, comments advisor says that the head of social media, Matt Navarro, responded, yet people would rather use that app instead of having to stick with Elon's Twitter speaks volumes. Elsewhere on Twitter, in the build, build up to its release, one user wrote, quote, not sure I want to give Zuckerberg access to my health and financial data, though. Very good response. I wouldn't want that shit either. And it also goes on to say, well, another respondent, I'm not sure. I'm sure they're giving the same more to other bots, unquote. That's the new threat app that's going on to take this place out. Twitter, Twitter comedian, had occurred. I don't know what that is. And now it's live over on threads. One other user posted, quote, I promise you, if you listen to these users, listen to the masses' complaints, this will be my next biggest platform. Listen to the creators. Please do not push the algorithm against us like Instagram and Twitter. Don't let bots hate speech and that word misinformation run wild. Hate speech can literally be anything. That's very, very massively subjective and opinion in my opinion. I mean, I'm not saying hate speech and hatred and evilness is evil. That's real. Just teach his own in that, though. I ain't gonna get that fucking crap. It's just politics. Keep moderation tight but free. Only time will tell. What happens if you delete threats? Oh, this is the one that 
completely turned me off on this social media site. And a bunch of other things. Let me get to that. My thoughts, views, and opinions on. There's been some speculation of what happens if you change the middle nine and longer one. One of the count, no longer one the account. Well, while it looks like you can delete the posts and threads and deactivate your account up to once a week, if you want to actually delete it forever, this will wipe your Instagram account too. And I still have two of my Instagram accounts, so I don't know if I want to delete them. Should I? That's the thing I'm a little nervous about if I did make an account for this thing for threads. Just to delete your threads and profile data, you need to delete your Instagram account for threads. Help centers to page size on Instagram explains a bit much and may have deterred a few people away if they have known this sooner and later. Yes, this is something about Apple and Google Play for Android users to install, of course. Thoughts, views, and opinions time now. So, I heard a few things about this on threads. This is, even though it may end up being better on Twitter, the second I saw Fools, like, so I'm not surprised because it's always actor celebrities and music artists and comedians and politics and all these other fools that run the world pretty much are just puppets of the World Economic Forum or fools that knew Epstein and the Freemason, devil worship and Satanists and all that shit, you know. And I'm not saying that regular people could be that too. They could just make an going to have the money and power and wealth and materialism like the real super evil people that run this planet do my personal opinion. I don't care if you call me a tunnel dweller, that's just how I personally believe for almost 15 years. Um, once I saw people like Kim Kardashian and J Nick Jonas or Joe Jonas from the Jonas Bros. Brothers, once I seen them start making it, and then I heard it has something to do connection with liaison after that, along with, you know, typical FBI, CIA, MSA. Once I heard all that, and extra especially once I saw, like, the symbol for it, and it has, like, a sort of 666 symbolism to it. <laughs> I knew for a fact I'm not using threads. I'm not. So unfortunately, you won't find me on threads. If I do ever make a threads account, probably going to have to make a third Instagram account because I don't want my other two to get deleted. <laughs> but, you know, it already takes all my privacy and my information no matter what. It probably knows when I'm taking a shit or a piss or I'm having sex with a real beautiful hot woman or something. It's going to be like Alexa. It'll never get privacy again. Anyways, um, yeah, just real quick, I'm done with that. No, this is called Sega Cools a Blockchain Game Executive Calls. Oh, this is what I was. I'm be doing a video on it maybe Monday. I might do both of them at the same time. When it comes to Sega, I'm praising them too. It's pretty badass. I'm glad they don't want nothing to do with MC cryptocurrency, crypto bro scamming bullshit blockchain stuff because that's good. That shows I actually kind of care about what the fans want to say. I mean, because since Sega doesn't make consoles, and maybe they were still making video game consoles or PCs, maybe they probably would have made that deal. Because they were probably making way more extra money at that time. Now they're probably making a lot less because they're only a video game publisher and an editor. Anyways, um, this one was crazy. Like I said before, I said again, I'm going to do a separate video on this. Because people are searching for a woman that has meltdown, gets off playing after she saw a man that wasn't real, which she said that he was a reptilian and a... When I looked at the video and the dude said that he was uh, a mason and uh, he says that he wants to rule the world and shit and he worships the devil and I was like, yeah, uh-uh. And then this dude is not, I'm not going to say he's crazy or he's a psychopath. I'm not going to say this girl's a loony either. They were nice. I heard that she was drinking a lot of alcohol and she was extremely drunk when she did this. So I don't know, bro. It could be a fake psyop. It could be real. It could be a stage thing. It could be 100% legit. Um, yeah, but you know what? Quick thoughts, using opinions on her. I kind of believe her a little bit. Because I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not to say I saw paranormal shit in my life, but I have. The two most paranormal things I ever saw was like look at a little meteorite. When I first moved to the city, the first month I was here, I saw something real fast for like two seconds go across the sky. This is before social media was again, so I just couldn't pull up my phone and record it. This is the old school camcorder days. <laughs> And then the second most weirdest thing I saw was like 2004 or five, when one of my aunts, I went to one of my aunt's house, my mother signed a Mexico. And I had like this, like there's a Virgin Mary and then there's a demon, devil, Grim Reaper version of Mary where it's skeletons. I saw a big giant static electricity hit one of their hands and that freaked me the hell out. And it wasn't raining at all that day either, so it wasn't lightning. And that's all I say for now no matter. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros. Yeah, you know, boys and fairs are talking about these. I'll see you. See you. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever I knew for stuff. Peace out, my star card. It's a nice, you know, flip side. Um, I'll take any of this stuff and uh, keep it calm, cool, chill, collective. Stay tuned for future anime news. You know, I'm not using some actual videos later.